Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to this YouTube session guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn data compression, multiple choice question and answer from unit 1. And guys, this is a revision quiz for you for data compression. Okay, in this your first question is data compression means to blank space the file size option A increase, option B decrease, option C can't say and option D none of the above. Right answer is option B decrease. Okay, data compression means to decrease the file size. Next question. Data compression and encryption both work on binary code is true or false is false. Okay. Data compression and encryption both work on binary code. This statement is false. Next question. What is a compression? Option A. To compress something by pressing it very hardly. Option B. To minimize the time taken for a file to be downloaded. Option C. To reduce the size of data to save space and option D is to convert one file to another. Right answer is option C. To reduce the size of data to, space, to save space. Okay. Next question. Data compression usually works by option A. Deleting random bit data. Option B. Finding repeating patterns. Okay. Right answer here is option B, finding repeating patterns. Data compression usually works by finding repeating patterns. Okay, next question. Why data compressed? Option A, to optimize the data. Option B, to reduce secondary storage space. Option C, to reduce packet congestions on networks. Option D, both B and C. This is very important guys. Aapko Cause pata honi chahiye kis bajha se hum data compressed karte hain. So first cause is to reduce secondary storage space. And second cause is to reduce packet congestion on networks. So here right answer is option D. Both B and C. Okay. Next question. Which is a type of data compression? Option A. Resolution. Option B. Tripping. Option C. Inputting. Option D. Caching. Right answer is option B. Tripping. Jipping is a type of data compression. Next question. Data compression involves option A. Compression only. Option B. Reconstruction only. Option C. Both compression and reconstruction. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option C. Bo both compression and reconstruction. Okay. Data compression involves both compression as well as reconstruction. Next question, based on the requirement of reconstructions, data compression schemes can be divided into blank space broad classes. Option A, 3. Option B, 4. Option C, 2. Option D, 5. Right answer is option C, 2. Okay. Based on the requirement of reconstruction, data compression schemes can be divided into two broad classes. Okay. Next question. Blank space compression is the method which eliminates the data which is not noticeable and blank space compression does not eliminate the data which is not noticeable. noticeable. Okay, according to this option A is lossless and lossy, option B lossy and lossless, option C none of these. Right answer is option B lossy and lossless. Okay, according to this, let's see. Lossy compression is the method which eliminates the data which is not noticeable and lossless compression does not eliminate the data which is not noticeable. Okay, next question. Blank space compression is generally used for applications that cannot tolerate any differences between the original and reconstruction data. Option A, lossy. Option B, lossless. Option C, both. And option D, none of these. Right answer is option B, lossless. And guys, I have taught short answer type questions. Mein bhi hai. Jo isse pehle data compression quiz aapko, sir, unit 1 to unit 5. Diya gaya tha. Usme bhi question tha. So it means this question is very, very important. Focus on it. 
लॉस लेयर्स एंड लॉसी कंप्रेशन की डेफिनेशन आपको बहुत अच्छे से पता होनी चाहिए फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज कंप्रेशन रेशियो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन ए द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा बिफोर कंप्रेशन टू द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा आफ्टर कंप्रेशन ऑप्शन बी द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा आफ्टर कंप्रेशन टू द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा बिफोर कंप्रेशन ऑप्शन सी द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा आफ्टर रिकंस्ट्रक्शन टू द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा बिफोर कंप्रेशन ओके एंड ऑप्शन डी इज द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा बिफोर रिकंस्ट्रक्शन टू द नंबर ऑफ बेड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द डेटा आफ्टर रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ओके यहां पर आपको कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए the compression ratio is the ratio of the number of beds required to represent the data before compression to the number of beds required to represent the data after compression okay i hope clear it next question suppose is storing an image made up of a square array of 256 multiply 256 pixels required 65 536 bytes the image is compressed and the compressed version requires 1600 348 384 bytes the compression ratio is guys this is very important question jo usse pehle quiz mein share kiya tha usme bhi maine is question ka add kiya tha because it's very very important question for your examination according to this option a 1 ratio 4 option b 4 ratio 1 ऑप्शन सी वन रेशियो टू एंड ऑप्शन डी टू रेशियो वन एंड इसका आंसर कमेंट में मेरे से स्टूडेंट ने क्वेश्चन किया भी था मैम ये क्वेश्चन किस तरह हुआ है मैंने एक्सप्लेन भी किया था कमेंट सेक्शन में आप चेक कर सकते हैं एंड राइट आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन बी फोर रेशियो वन एंड अभी भी आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम होगी किसी भी स्टूडेंट को कि क्वेश्चन किस तरह सॉल्व हुआ है तो प्लीज आप मुझे कमेंट करके बताइएगा मैं कमेंट में आपको इसका सोल्यूशन प्रोवाइड कर दूंगी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लॉसी टेक्निक्स आर जनरली यूज फॉर द कंप्रेशन ऑफ डेटा दैट ऑरिजिनेट एज अलॉन्ग सिग्नल सच एज ऑप्शन ए स्पीच ऑप्शन बी वीडियो ऑप्शन सी बोथ ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ लॉसी टेक्निक्स आर जनरली यूज फॉर द कंप्रेशन ऑफ डेटा दैट ऑरिजिनेट एज एनालॉग सिग्नल सच एज स्पीच एज वेल एज वीडियो ओके तो राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन If fidelity or quality of a reconstruction is blank space, then the difference between the reconstruction and the original is blank space. Option A is small high, option B is small and small, option C high and high, option D high and small. Right answer is option D high and small. Okay, let's see. If fidelity or quality of a reconstruction is high. then the difference between the reconstruction and the original is small okay next question the development of data compression algorithm for a variety of data can be divided into blank space phases option a 2 option b 3 option c 4 option d 5 right answer is option a 2 the development of data compression algorithm for a variety of data can be divided into two phases okay next question which of the following is true of lossy and lossless compression techniques option a lossless compression is only used in situation where lossy compression techniques can't be used option b lossy compression is best suited for situation where some loss of detail is tolerable especially if it will not be de detectable by a human option c both lossy and lossless compression techniques will result in some information being lost from the original file option d neither lossy nor lossless compression can actually reduce the number of bits needed to represent a file right answer here is option b because lossy compression is best suited for situation where some loss of details is tolerable okay especially if it will not be detectable by a human 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वुड नॉट बी सुटेबल फॉर लॉसी कंप्रेशन ऑप्शन ए स्पीच ऑप्शन बी वीडियो ऑप्शन सी टेक्स्ट ऑप्शन डी इमेज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी टेक्स्ट ओके सो टेक्स्ट इज द फॉलोइंग वुड नॉट बी सुटेबल फॉर लॉसी कंप्रेशन बिकॉज आपके टेक्स्ट फाइल में से अगर आपका एक टेक्स्ट एक इनपुट सिंबल भी अगर आपका इधर से उधर होता है तो आपकी कंप्लीट टेक्स्ट फाइल यूजलेस हो जाती है गाइस ओके सो टेक्स्ट फाइल के लिए हमेशा हम यूज करते हैं लॉस लेस कंप्रेशन टेक्निक ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर नॉट इन ए कंप्रेस्ड फॉर्मेट ऑप्शन ए एम थ्री ऑप्शन बी बिट मैप ऑप्शन सी एम ऑप्शन डी जे राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी बिट मैप बिट मैप आर नॉट इन ए कंप्रेस्ड फॉर्मेट ओके एम पी थ्री एम पी जी एंड जेपी ई जी इज आर आर इन कंप्रेस्ड फॉर्मेट ओके ओनली बिट मैप इज नॉट इन ए कंप्रेस्ड फॉर्मेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंफॉर्मेशन थेरी बाज गिबन बाय ऑप्शन ए क्लाउड बॉन रीगन ऑप्शन बी क्लाउड इलवुड शेनॉन ऑप्शन सी क्लाउड मोनेट ऑप्शन डी क्लाउड डेवोशी Right answer is option B. Cloud Elbert Shannon. Okay, so information theory was given by Cloud Elbert Shannon. Question number twenty. The unit of information depends on the base of the log. Base of the log. If we use log base two, the unit is blank space. Okay. This question ko bahut dyan se suniyega guys. This is very important question. If we use log base e, the unit is blank space. and if we use log base then the unit is blank space okay according to log base aapko yahan par unit decide karni hai in the unit of information depends on on the base of the log okay according to this option a hartley's nets and bits respectively option b hartley's bits nets respectively option c bits nets and hartley's respectively option d bits hartley's and nets respectively Here, right answer is option C. Bits, nets, and Hartley's respectively. Okay, let's see. The unit of information depends on the base of the log. Okay, if we use log base two, the unit is always bits. Okay, जहाँ भी हम log base two use करेंगे वहाँ पर हमारी unit होगी bits. Okay, next. If we use log base e, the unit is nets. Okay. तो यहां पर हम यूनिट यूज करेंगे ऑलवेज नेट्स इन यूनिट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन द बेस ऑफ लॉग्स ओके गाइस मैं बहुत फोकस कर रही हूं इस क्वेश्चन पर प्लीज आप भी इसको ध्यान से समझिए एंड इफ वी यूज लॉग बेस 10 द यूनिट इज ऑलवेज हार्ड लीज ओके आई होप अब आपको क्लियर हो गया होगा ये क्वेश्चन एंड आप प्लीज इसको ध्यान रखिएगा यहां पर कंफ्यूज मत होना लॉग बेस 2 है तो यूनिट इज बिट्स लॉग बेस ई है तो यूनिट इज नेट एंड लॉग बेस टेन है तो यूनिट इज हर्ट लीज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू क्लाउड इलबुट शेनोस सेकेंड थ्योरम इट्स नॉट फिजिबल टू ट्रांसमिट इंफॉर्मेशन ओवर द चैनल विद ब्लैंक स्पेस एरर प्रॉबिलिटी आल दो बाय यूजिंग एनी कोडिंग टेक्निक्स ऑप्शन ए लार्ज ऑप्शन बी मे बी लार्ज और स्मॉल ऑप्शन सी अनप्रेडिक्टेबल ऑप्शन डी स्मॉल Right answer is option D is small. Okay, let's see. According to Claudy Elbert Shannon's second theorem, it's not feasible to transmit information over the channel with a small error probability, although by using any coding techniques. Next question. The essential conditions for a good error control coding technique is option A, better error correcting capability. Option B, maximum transfer of information in bits per second. Option C, faster coding and decoding methods. Option D, all of the above. Right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question. The prefix code is also called as option A, block block code. Option B, convolutional code. Option C, parity code. Option D, instantaneous code. Right answer is option D. Instantaneous code. Next question. Self information should be option A negative, option B positive, option C both, and option D none of these. 
right answer is option b positive self information should be positive not to be negative okay next question a code in which no code word is a prefix to another code word is called as option a prefix code option b parity code option c convolutional code option d block code right answer is option a prefix code a code in which no code word is a prefix to another code word is called as prefix code okay next question the set of binary sequences is called a blank space and the individual members of the set are called blank space option a code words and code respectively option b codes and code words respectively option c none of these right answer is option b code and code words okay let's see the set of binary sequences is called a code and the individual members of the set are called code words okay next question full form of sky option a american standard code for information intercast okay focus on this this is very important question option b american standard code words for information interchange option c american standard code for information interchange option d american system code for information interchange right answer here is option c american standard code for information interchange okay not to be code word okay is code only right answer is option c next question composite source models is a combination or composition of several sources in which how many sources being active at any given time option a all option b only one option c only first three option d none of these right answer is only one okay composite source model is a combination or composition of several source in which one source being active at any given time only one source okay next question for models used in lossless compression we use a specific type of markup process called a option a continuous time markup chain option b discrete time markup chain option c constant time markup chain option d none of the above right answer is option b discrete time markup chain so for models used in lossless compression we use a specific type markup process called a discrete time markup chain next question markup model is often used when developing coding algorithm for option a speech option b image option c both option d none of these right answer is option c both okay so markup model is often used when developing coding algorithm for speech as well as image right answer is option c both okay guys now let's find out this lecture see you in the next video thanks for watching this video and thanks a lot for your support and wish you very very all the best for your examination thanks for watching bye bye